Hello everyone and hope you're well. Welcome to today's video. So, I thought it'd be really good if I showed you my real life makeup routine. How I get ready, where I get ready, in real life, in real time. So, if you want to see what I've been doing, or how I actually do my makeup in real life, then carry on watching. Right, so this is how I actually do my makeup every single day. This is where I do it, the bathroom. It's just how I've always done it and I don't know what it is, I just, I've always been a person that stands up and does my makeup in the mirror. Anyway, okay, so this is what I'm, this is how I do my makeup as a normal person every day. <laughs> so I'm going in with the L'Oreal True Match Foundation and I'm mixing two shades. I've got shade um, Golden Beige and Golden Ivory. This is one... W. There isn't a 2W which is really annoying because this is slightly, this is 3W and I would have liked a 2W to mix in but they don't do a 2W which doesn't make sense to me. So what I do is I do one pump of the 3W in the back of my hand and then I do about, oh, bums. This is, this is the thing, I'm so like clumsy. I'm trying not to, okay. And then I do like a um, half a pump of the light yeah it's about like that much see because if you put too much of the light I don't know what is with this light version okay it seems to be thinner and I don't know if it's just because it's a pale shade or what but it's thinner in formula than the number three which is weird anyway so I mix the two on the back of my hand like this that's obviously tanning season's over, I've lost all my tan, my fake tan, and then I just dot it on. The one thing I don't like about fake tan is, is like when you when you can't be bothered to like re-top it up and it starts to get patchy and you're like, oh my god, you've you've passed the point of no return, you've just got to wait till it all comes off. Okay. And then I just spread the rest on my neck, that's on the back of my hand on my neck, like that. Then I go in with my Real Techniques sponge and I just blend in. It's so funny about like where we do our makeup because I was reading this um, tweet by a comedian, a British comedian yesterday and he was like, does anybody else's wife beg them for a dressing table so they can like do their makeup at their dressing table and you get it for them yet they still do their makeup in a completely different mirror in a completely different room I was like yep yeah, that is me it's just like you become sort of used to your I don't know it's weird isn't it like I can't do my foundation sitting down at a dressing table I've got to do it in the bathroom I'll do my eyes and stuff um you know sitting down but not my foundation, I tried to get me double chin. There you go. That's the way to do it, get it down there. I don't know why I've not done this before, it's like, I was going to do, this is like the makeup I do every day, and I was like, I was going to do a video, and then I was like, no, why don't I just do a video of how I actually do it in my bathroom? You know? This is real life, this is exactly how I do my makeup. Okay, so once I've patted that all in, blended that in, I go over the eyes just briefly because then it's sort of uniform. Then I go in with Tarte Shape Tape. This is the shade Light Medium. Scrape around the edges. I really wish actually they'd put make this in a squeezy tube because I'm sure there's a lot left in there, you know, that can be... You know, I can't even cut this open, so what am I supposed to do? I can't waste it. Pop that on like that. Back in with the blender, and I use sort of the pointed side. And then I go in and bring it down. I love, I've had my eyebrows done last week, and I get them threaded now. I used to go to Benefit, but... It's much cheaper to do them in Superdrug. And I'm telling you, she does an even better job. Like, she tints them. I swear that, like, I don't have to do my eyebrows for, like, two weeks, like, colouring them. If you go to Benefit, you wash your face and the tint, like, comes off the next day. 
but she, the lady who does them for me, oh my God, she's so good. And I used to be, I used to do threading, but it used to break me out all over my forehead. And the reason that happens is if they're really rough, same with waxing, if someone's really rough, you're gonna get all that bumpy skin. But she's so gentle, she's like, gzz, gzz, with this. <laughs> and it's just like, oh, it's actually really nice. And she leaves the tint on for like 20, not, not 20 minutes, about five minutes, no, about, yeah, about five minutes, maybe a bit longer. And it really tints my brows and I love it. Okay, concealer's on. I then set my under eye concealer with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. This is in the shade number two. I love this because it's got light reflecting particles in it. And also it's just the smoothest powder of life. I just make sure, I go over and make sure there's no, you know, lines. And then I go into my powder and I just set under my eye and over my eye. This is the best under eye setting powder of life. Then I go on the other side and I just make sure, again, there's no visible lines. And then I go in with the rest of my powder. Uh, it's just the most invisible powder. It's just amazing. And then I set the lid like that. Then I go in with my setting powder and I'm using the Bare Skin uh, Perfecting Veil in Medium. Look at this. Okay, I have never like hit pan on a powder this much. I freaking love this stuff. Again, I use the back of my sponge and I just rub it around the back on the flat bit and I just tap. Honestly, oh my God, this powder, I like. It's the best thing ever. And using a sponge, you know how I love to use a sponge. My God, who's been watching Handmaid's Tale? Oh my goodness. I think we just finished the second season. Oh my God, who loves that? Oh my gosh, I love um, things like that. It is so good, loving it. Okay, powder done, foundation set in, beautiful. I'm now gonna go in with my bronzer, which is the Ambient Lighting Hourglass. I've also hit pan on this, look at that. Look at that. Oh my God, never done that before either. Just, I washed all my brushes yesterday. So, and you know when they're not dry yet and you're like, freaking hell, you had all night to dry. Why are you not dry yet? Okay, I'm just gonna go do my usual circle. And then down the nose chin, eyelids, okay, then I go in with Dallas, <laughs> this blush, honestly it's everything, cheeks, love this, look at this, it's just so nice, I love the smell of it as well, oh my god, Okie dokie, right. Then I do my uh, mascara, that's it. I don't do any eyeshadow. I don't, I don't really wear eyeshadow anymore, unless I'm going out, you know. I curl my lashes. Like who can be bothered to do eyeshadow on a daily basis? Not me. I think, I think because it's been hot, um, I haven't been doing eyeshadow, but I think now, you know, falls on its way. Hello, I'm so excited. That means I'll be going into my um, warm shadows. Then I go in with the Better Than Sex mascara. I'm really liking this, actually. It just, I think the brush, it used to like fall on my face, like it used to like drop, but it doesn't seem to do that anymore. And I don't know why that is but I love the brush the brush is just really easy for me and gets my lashes really well and I think because it's so 
I think that's why I haven't been wearing eyeshadow because this mascara is so good, I feel like I don't need to. And I'll tell you what, I've been using this little sample every day for like a month and there's still loads left in it. And I think I'm gonna buy the um, big one, the full size. Oh god, don't you hate it when you put your mascara and then it get it, it slips and goes in your finger? That is so annoying. <sighs> oh. Anyway, okay, and then I'm I set with two setting sprays. I set with the NYX matte in the middle of my face. And then I like to go in with the Too Faced hangover, just on the sides. Like that. Oh god, that's lovely. And then I find something in my drawer like this, and I just do that. Lips, I go in with the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in London. Again, this is a lip combo I have not not put down like for the whole summer. It's really hard doing your lips. Like this. I can't get close to the mirror. I go in with a lip liner. I love this lip liner. Oh my goodness, it's the NYX Slide On Glide On and it's called Nude Suede Shoes. I swear it's the dupe for um, Charlotte Tilbury uh, Natural, is it? Natural? Yeah, anyway. <laughs> iconic Nude, no, Iconic Nude. And then I go over the top with MAC Honey Love, which is a, oh, gorgeous. And there we have it. That's it. That's my everyday makeup look. This is what I do on a daily basis. This is the makeup look I do and have been doing. <laughs> It's just, I just feel like it's easy, it's fresh. Um, I don't feel like I'm wearing a lot of makeup, but at least I feel confident and I've got something on. Um, and I don't feel overdone, but I feel put together. So yeah, there you go, there you have it. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed uh, my bathroom today and my quick makeup. And I hope you're all well, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.